Hi people, I'm still here at Wren and um, as you know I will be having lots of questions and we were talking earlier, um, one of the things I didn't know about David, even though we've known each other for years, is he's also as much of a supplement geek as I am oh, yeah. and um, those of you that follow me will have seen that I bought the you take them already, what are they called? Uh, the Ultrient. Ultrient. Yeah, the liposomal so vitamin C. got these yeah. yesterday because they were recommended by Caroline Hirons yeah. and um, they're weird gloopy things. You can see a picture and go to uh, this morning's show and you'll see Caroline take them. So I'm obsessed by vitamin C, mm -hmm. trying these new things that kind of a new delivery system. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things I get a lot of questions about is how you use vitamin C on the skin mm. and also um, does it, as a product, does it kind of um, lose its efficacy over time? You know, mm -hmm. there's lots of things you read, if it goes dark, it's gone off. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people find them too stimulating. Yeah, absolutely, um, especially with the rosacea type skin exactly, or yeah, irritated exactly. skin. Mm -hmm. So we are going to talk about the two vitamin C, um, or glow, really, glow mm -hmm. products, because that's what vitamin C is going to do for you um, from REN. So, mm -hmm. Where do we start? Uh, first up, I think maybe let's start with the radiance. This is the Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. I'll hold that up there for you. So go ahead and feel the texture of this first. So nice light finish. It is a it is a gel cream finish. So it's going to feel nice and fresh and bouncy on the skin. Oh yeah, that's really light. Mm -hmm. Really nice. So it's designed to be used as a standalone day cream, but oh I find God. I actually use it as a, a little cheeky mm. layer underneath my normal cream. It as smells. A boost. It smells like orange sherbet. Yeah, it is. It's mandarin. mandarin. Oh, is it? Orange. It yeah, is yeah, like, but it's Bang like on. sherbet. <laughs> it's that really sharp. Oh, it's very nice, very mm -hmm. fresh. So, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, that difference, that glow. It does leave a nice sheen on the skin instantly. But which I think is awesome. it, it, it's interesting. And it's, do you know what's also interesting? You can't see it as well, but 30 plus years of doing, and I always do on this hand first. 30 plus years of using amazing product on my hand because I'm lucky I've always worked with amazing product and actually you can see how good a product is because you still see that difference yeah that yeah. it's taken that kind of mottled no no sort of you know no life to give in you know brightness and smoothness Smooth evenness. so this product is working with vitamin C but in a different way so the way that Ren is treating vitamin C in this product is interesting because we are not going to wow you with big numbers. We're not going to say, oh, it's 20% vitamin C, it's 30%. Uh, bigger is not always better in the world of yeah. skin. I think those of us who are educated in this world know that. Um, instead, when it comes to vitamin C, what's more important is the stability. It's more important that you have a more regular access to it on the skin, uh, which gives you that protection throughout mm. the day. Um, and also when you look at who the REN client is, Usually they come to us because their skin barrier might be compromised or they're sensitive to certain ingredients or actives. Um, they tend to be more on the sensitive side. So vitamin C and a sensitive skin doesn't always play very well no. together. Um, so what we did with this product is we're actually only using, I believe it's 0.5% vitamin C and that's going to sound like I'm shooting us in the foot, mm. but really it's the way we deliver this 0.5 makes it super effective and super fresh. Um, we've taken the vitamin C and we've wrapped it in a, I'll say wrapped, it's a bit more complicated than that, in a glucose bubble. So actually we attach the glucose to the vitamin C. What happens is it goes to the skin where the good bacteria which we all have, apparently there's around 20 species of bacteria that are positive and that eat glucose. They love glucose. So oh. they go in and they eat this glucose shell and release this little microdose of vitamin C that's oh, interesting. So that's you're cool. also gonna have a more sustained release throughout the day. So this is your vitamin C glowing day cream for people that are usually more sensitive to vitamin C, who might want something that's not going to be photo sensitizing. Yeah. Um, and for people that just want to have that beautiful, rosy, bright complexion, glowing complexion right throughout the day. So if you find that vitamin C normally gives you that tingle, um, if you find that, like you say, you have rosacea, mm. something like that. Mm -hmm. And I think the other thing which is really important, um, and we were just talking about this earlier, I'm seeing more and more people come through who basically have compromised their skin barrier. Yeah. Um, it scares the living daylights out of me that people are buying, you know, when they go abroad, they're buying over-the-counter um, 
retinol mm -hmm. um, prescription creams, mm -hmm. you know, six euros and all heaven above, and then they're using these. They're using um, physical scrubs on top of physical that. scrubs and yeah. acids, yeah, yeah. and then they're wondering why you know they're dehydrated, they're breaking out, they're getting patches, yeah. they're getting pigmentation, all these things that they are using retinols and things mm -hmm. to treat. They're actually making it worse. Yeah, you wouldn't cut yourself and walk around and not cover your skin yeah. up or protect yeah. your skin, yeah. and it's literally the same thing when you're disrupting yeah. a barrier. And you know, your skin. I always used to say this: your skin should never feel tight. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the natural um, moisturising factors that are on your skin should leave the skin comfortable. Yes, you will get drier as you get older and yes, you know, all of this around us, um, environmental, will totally dehydrate you. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, please think about what you're using in terms of actives. Um, yeah. But yeah, so if you are more sensitive, um, and even if you're not, but you want a product actually that is really easy to use, because mm -hmm. sometimes vitamin C serums um, can actually be a bit sticky um, I've almost used them and you get a real right. tack from yeah. them because yeah, yeah, yeah. they're, they're a little bit um, you know thicker and so often they, they're, they're delivered in a formula that is either silicon based because you know you need to keep vitamin C away from air yeah, yeah, and yeah. water and yeah. all sorts of things initially yeah. so um, yeah the delivery system often makes it quite yeah. a sticky product. and you know what just talking about that I mean and this applies to all of the REM products um, that we're going to look at you know another uh, ever calm later but is there airtight mm -hmm. so if you travel perfect um, if you are concerned about um, you know uh, hygiene and remember you know when you have I've said this, this hasn't changed, this is something I've said for many, many years. When you have a product that portrays to have high actives in it and it is in a jar, nine times out of ten, the minute you open that jar, those little actives are going to start yeah. to disperse. So you're not getting the efficacy yeah. um, of that 20% or whatever, um, really and beyond week one. And we pioneered this sort of airtight yeah. packaging is quite commonly used in the industry and rightly so. But you know, going back 20 years, we were one of the first, if not the first, to do these airtight containers, which means we use far less preservative than other brands would need to use. And in the case of vitamin C, you keep the product so much more stable for longer. Um, another great ingredient in here I want to mention is a tauropod extract. Now, tauropod extract is really, really fabulous for pigmentation. Oh, interesting. Good. So instead of bleaching the skin or lightening the skin using a chemical, we're using the tauropod, which is normally quite an unstable not unstable as in dangerous, unstable as in difficult to keep fresh molecule. Um, we've done the same thing with the tauropod extract. We've used a little bit of the glucose to protect it and wrap it. So once again, we rely on what your personal bacteria is doing on your skin to release these products. Um, and don't worry, we've all got the good bacteria. You're not going to, no one's going to get a better result versus a weaker result depending on what you have. Um, but what's beautiful about this is we are genuinely in this way working with your skin, working with your biome to give you a glow that's very personal to you. So you'll see on every bottle there's actually a little, have a look there. Yeah, your glow number, that's cute. A unique, a unique glow number because you're special. Um, so I'm going to need to add this into my routine because mm. I've started to notice a little pigmentation actually. But one of the things I wanted to point out as well because this is really cool, first of all if you do go into store really easy mm -hmm. conversation about the ingredients great little picture um, in your round circle you've got the um, no-nos which is good mm -hmm. nice and clear and then I know a lot of you ask about here the little rabbit so mm -hmm. cruelty free so also um, something really important and then if you turn tuned into our live videos then you'll see here also you have the clean message mm -hmm. which has been around with Ren for a long time mm -hmm. And as a brand, always cruelty free, which is yeah. you know very important to us. So this is a moisturizer, which is mm -hmm. beautiful. What's this is very. Uh, so this is the one that's kind of blowing everyone away. Everybody's right going now. crazy. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so I've just come back from a, a trip to uh, Australia where I worked for a wonderful company called Mecca Cosmetica. We did a conference with them. We completely sold out of this product in two days. Um, we are selling out everywhere. It is an ex a liquid exfoliator, uh, alcohol free formula and it is focusing on lactic acid versus uh, glycolic, which is traditionally used. So we've gone down the route of using lactic acid because 
it's uh, from our, my understanding as well, it's a slightly larger molecule, so you don't get that initial sort of <coughs> quick tingle, or yeah. it's like it's, 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 a, it's an acid. Um, it's a slower working, but just as effective. You don't get the red flash, um, and also it pulls moisture into the skin. L uh, lactic acid is a really good hydrating product. So if you're someone who's maybe new to liquid exfoliators, if you're someone who wants efficacy, but also you might be already doing retinols, you might be already doing other things, but you're not ready to let go of your AHA products, this is the right product for you. So you can work this into your routine without overstripping, without overtaxing the skin. So if you want, going back to the compromised um, skin barrier we were mm. talking about, if you want um, to have actives, but do it in a way that isn't going to stress the skin yeah. barrier. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this can happen to anybody. You don't have to have sensitive skin, but you know, everybody can can compromise their skin barrier. Then this is the kind of product you need to use. Absolutely. I'm just going to show you how it works. Um, it's very straightforward. You take your cotton round. I actually just sometimes pour it into my hand and splash it on my skin, or just gently. Did so you use this instead of a toner? Instead of a toner. So uh, it comes with a pump dispenser. So just two or three pumps. Um, I do two cotton pads, you can separate them and then sweep them across the skin like that after you've cleansed. If you're new to AHAs um, or if you're on the more sensitive side, what you can also do is wet your cotton pad first before you pump and shear the product out. Uh, use it for a few days and build yourself up to the full strength. Um, very, very quick and easy to use. And it's safe to use during the day too, so no photosensitivity with the product. The pH is very well balanced, very kind to your skin. Uh, we've also got an energizing factor in here, so glycogen, magnesium, complex. So brightening. Brightening, and azelaic acid precursor, which once again works really well on pigmentation, excess oil, breakouts, uh, all of those things. So what you've seen is clarity, exfoliation, and glow. So this is not a product that you would have to stop using in the summer? Uh, no, absolutely no. not. Okay, that's really good because I know um, a lot of sort of the active kind of peel type mm -hmm. products you would need to stop using. So I think this, this, and of course. I was just going to say that's your. This don't forget baby, your SPF. Which I can't find the right way. <laughs> um, these are the ones you need if you want that radiance, if you want to treat pigmentation, mm -hmm. and um, even if you have that more sensitive skin. So um, for sure, go check out the Glow uh, products from Ren. We are going to cover off another couple of uh, products shortly in another video. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Take care. Bye.